welcome to this lecture so in this lecture i will talk about space translation and conservation of momentum in the earlier lecture i will talk about time translation and conservation of energy so to prove the conservation of momentum let us proceed as follows consider a hamiltonian sorry a hamiltonian h it is operated with u epsilon dagger px and u epsilon px then it leads to a new hamiltonian right and hamiltonian is some operator and let us put their value as we know from earlier lectures it is i plus iota over h cross epsilon px into h and here it is i minus iota over h cross epsilon px and from earlier lectures on space and time translation and uh, on unitary operator we can write down it directly as px and h this is from earlier lectures in the commutator form it can be written in the commutator form right and this is equal to h if px commute with h that is if px and h commutator will be equal to 0 if this will happen then this is equal to this that means if px commute with h then hamiltonian is conserved that means hamiltonian is a remains invariant hamiltonian remains invariant so but this is possible if this is a commute right so let us try to prove that whether this will commute or not to prove that let us proceed as follows that means we have to check now the value of it, this commutator so let us proceed as follows pxh commutator it can be written in this form this is px and it is a hamiltonian and hamiltonian is sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy so it can be written in this form minus px square by 2m plus dx into dx right so let us try to simplify this so it can be simplified as follows 1 by 2m can be taken outside so it is px and px square and this can be written in this form px square over px plus px bx minus bx px right so it can be written in this form this is basically a commutator of px and px square and this is again a commutator of px with bx here it is not the operator it is a function and 
its value will be zero as we saw in case of uh, properties of commutator operator and this can be written as iota h cross d over t x into p x as we know there is a formula for this we, we are having a momentum operator and its commutator with some function it can be written as minus iota h cross d f over d x this is a standard formula i use this particular formula here and using this i i have to write down it in this form sorry minus should be there right i missed it now let us try to look at if this potential will be constant then this is equal to zero because derivative of some constant will be equal to zero thus we can say that px and h their commutator is always equal to zero if b axis constant right as we saw in classical mechanics if no force act on the system then then potential is constant let us recapitulate some equation that force is equal to minus d over dx of bx negative of the potential gradient is known as the force as no force act on the system means if it is zero this then we conclude that this is a constant quantity right and also if px if i summarize the things if px and h both will commute that means Px is a conserved quantity. That means this momentum is a conserved quantity if potential is a constant, and Hamiltonian is a invariant or remains invariant under. phase translation right so that's all for this lecture and thanks for watching this lecture